In this video, we're going to take a look at how to launch local applications with the Parallels client. We're also going to show you how we can extend that functionality to include applications launched by Parallels browser isolation as well. So let's take a look. Here you can see a Windows client, and on that Windows client, we've got the Parallels client application open the bottom right. We've got the user portal opened top right. You can also see desktop shortcuts on the left hand side. They're all providing access to exactly the same applications, so this really depends how the individual organization wants to launch those apps. Now, some of the applications the user's got access to are kind of traditional, kind of virtualized applications but some of those icons are gonna launch applications that are actually on their local client machine. Some of them also might launch into software as a service applications and they might be fronted by PBI. That's what we're gonna walk through now. So if we take a look at the Parallels RAS console, you can see I've ordered things in folders. So I've got local apps and inside there are a couple of local applications. I've got my Parallels RAS published apps as well and I've got a PBI delivered application. I've split them into folders, but only for administrative purposes. So if you look at the folder settings, there's a tick box that says use for administrative purposes. So the user just sees a list of icons. Uh, so I, what I've done is I've ordered it so the administrator can easily see which of these applications are local, which of these applications are, are not. So to create a new one, I just publish an application, but I, this time I say it's a local device. I then say next, I give it a name, Choose an icon if you wish and put a path. Now that is the path on the local client machine. So in this case, that's a Windows path. It also asks me for an alternate URL. Now that's gonna happen if, let's say that path does not exist on a local client machine, what do you wanna fall back to? In this case, I'm gonna launch the online version of Excel in this particular example. And then choose next. I'm gonna enable the application and that is it. So I'm going to move Excel to the top of the list just to show you it kind of appearing on that list when I log in as a user and then click apply. So what does the user see? Well, they see the icon appearing where the administrator told it to. So that's at the beginning of that list. What I then do is I can launch that local application. And again, that's going to launch on the client device. There is no hairpinning going on here. There is no, I'm going to contact the back end, create a session, and then, and then open the local application. That is literally directly opening the local application on the user's device. And the Parallels client is essentially acting as this central point of application launch for the end user. Now, Parallels also supports uniform resource identifiers or URIs. That makes it really easy for an administrator to specify a local application. So you'd specify a URI. In this case, I'm pointing to Slack. And that literally points to the local application installed on the device without me having to actually supply a path at all. So just like before, the user launches the application locally on their machine, but the icon is managed centrally by the administrator. Now, what we can also look at is launching software as a service applications or even secure software as a service applications, in this case, using Parallels Browser Isolation. So what we've done here is we've supplied the URL for a specific Parallels Browser Isolation application. In this case, we're launching the Azure console and the app ID is the important thing. So if I'm on a Windows client, I've also said I want it to launch inside a Chrome browser tab. So we're gonna launch Chrome first, then we're gonna launch the application inside PBI. Now, if I can't find Chrome, that backup URL is still gonna launch PBI, but it's gonna launch in the user's default browser. So now when the user launches this icon from the Parallels client or the user portal, it's gonna launch directly into PBI, it's gonna launch inside my local copy of Google Chrome. That's an embedded PBI browser tab inside, and it's gonna work just as if the user had gone to the PBI portal itself and logged in from there. And as you can see, as always with PBI, you have the option to turn on things such as watermarking. If a user tries to access a URL, they're not permitted to do so by the administrator, it's gonna block that page. And that concludes this video on launching local applications using the Parallels client 
including launching applications from Parallels Browser Isolation.